Hey there, just stopping by to show you a quick little gift card holder card. Yeah, it's a card within a card, right. <laughs> so here we go. First things first, you are gonna start with a piece of whisp thick whisper white and you're gonna cut it five and a half by 11, okay? And then you're gonna score it. Ignore this hole in the middle. You're gonna score it at four and a quarter on this end four and a quarter on this end, and then five and a half down the middle. So let's do that. So five and a half by 11, and I'm gonna score it at four and a quarter, and then five and a half, and then flip it around, and four and a quarter from this end. Right, so now you have three score lines in the middle of it. And I'm gonna fold this one in. Whoops, sorry. <laughs> Little noisy, just grabbing that. Uh, score this one in. And then this, I'm gonna fold this way. So it's kind of an accordion deal. So I get this, this in the middle, this goes in, all right? Okay, so what is gonna happen is you are going to take your classic label punch and you are gonna put that right in the middle and only punch the middle. So see it, the middle this way and the middle this way. If, you, if it's gonna keep you up tonight because it's not perfectly even, you can measure. I'm just going to eyeball it and I'm going to get the middle and then squeeze hard. And now let me show you why that's what you're doing. Your gift card is going to fit right in there and that's how it's going to hold it, right? Super cute. Okay, so that's the, that's the base of your card. If you have a bunch of gift cards to give this year, you could create several of these and have them ready. Then, you are going to cut a piece of your favorite designer series paper, four by five and a quarter for the front of your card. And then last but not least, a piece of Whisper White at three by four. Okay? All right. So this, and I am using the Mary Moose bundle. I'm going to use both the stamp set and the punch. They're actually not a bundle this year, but they have two things that go together. And I am going to put a create a background using the different trees, the snow, maybe even the raccoon, and my sentiment on this 3 by 4 Then I'm going to take a scrap that was left over, and on that I'm going to do my moose and I'm going to then punch him out. I want him to have, I want to color him in, so I'm going to use this one. I don't have to if I was just going to keep him a solid color, but he needs detail. I can, let me show you how we're going to use this mousse though. So let me get my block. All right, so I want both. I want the solid mousse and then the outline mousse, okay? So solid mousse first, and I want him to be light brown, so he's gonna be crumb cake. Make sure I get all over ink. And this is just a, I'm gonna punch this out later. So there's him, right? He looks pretty good. Then I'm gonna take my outline and I'm gonna use my memento ink. Make sure you get that nice and dark. And then you're gonna line that up on top of your mousse. So 
so cool. No coloring needed, right? If you wanted a lighter color mousse, you could stamp it off, but this works good, right? See all the detail now shows up? All right, now I'm gonna take my punch and line it up. And so now I have the detail that I need of this mousse. Line up in there, buddy, get all your parts. I don't wanna punch anything that doesn't There, all right. And there he is. Okay, so now I'm ready to do my background. And I'm going to now use some old olive to get my trees. And I'm gonna use the tall tree and the shorter trees, and I'm gonna make a forest background over here, ready for this guy, right? And then I'm going to do a Merry Christmas at the top. So before I get too carried away, I'm gonna put that in so I know where it is. Now my trees. Kind of have an idea where my moose is going to go, but he can go on top of the trees. So I'm going to do in the center, and then I'm going to stamp again without re-inking. And see how that looks like it's behind it? Right? I'm going to get depth without really having to work hard. I'm going to do another ink and move this over a little bit. And then again. Isn't that cool? I love how that comes out. And then I'm going to take my little tree and put that right in front. So now I've created a pine forest, super easy. And now I'm ready for my moose. And he's gonna go on with dimensionals because I want him to have a little bit of oomph off the page. And then I'm ready to put my, then I'm ready to assemble this little baby. There he is, okay. So now, let's get this all together. Take off our little notes, because we don't need to know our sizes anymore. This is gonna go right on the front. It could also go this way if you like. And I'm gonna go this way because the trees are going up and down in my pattern paper, but that's the only reason. It could go either way, but I wanna stay with my designer series paper that's in the back there. Pop you in. Okay, now this part. This is gonna want some tear and tape because you wanna make sure it stays together really well. But you don't wanna get close to this because you wanna leave enough room for your card to tuck inside, right? So I need to be sure that my card can go in at least that far. So the easiest way to do it is tuck your card in and then I'm going to put my tear and tape right along here. If, you, if I went all the way along, then my card wouldn't be able to poke down inside. So that's not what I want. So I'm just gonna do half and half, and it's gonna be fine. You watch. And I always put more than I need. I'm not a good estimator at how long to make my tear and tape. There. And then my little take your pick is the easiest way to get this off. 
If not, you're kind of fumbling around with your fingernail and it just doesn't work. This is so nice. Just pops it right off. There. And now you can take that out. Fold this back. And now your card is all good. It's not going to come apart there. And it's ready for me to tuck my gift card in like so. Now, if you're worried that it might push through, which it could, you could put a little bit along the edge in there. But you need to be sure that you have enough to go to let it in. So it's kind of a tricky situation. You could put a little dab of a glue dot right here just to be sure it doesn't come out. But you want to be sure that you have enough room to get the card in. So kind of a little but not too much. And then your card is ready to go. So super easy and ready for your next gift card. Right? Be sure to check out my current host code on Shop with Kara. Remember, I give my Happy Shopper Rewards at the end of the month. Every $50 that you spend, you get a punch. Not literally. And when you get 10 punches, you get a free stamp set of your choice. So, happy shopping. If you, if you need any more information, I was just thinking where the other one is, you can always go to my, my blog for lots more inspiration and to sign up to be sure that you're on the mailing list. Have a great time. Bye.